this is an early piece here that uh, is uh, some found objects. Some wagon wheel tires and uh, the centerpiece is a seine float for a fishing boat that drags a big seine behind him, a trawler. And that would be one of the floats that holds the seine up. And uh, it just kind of went together and believe it or not there was holes in that tire all the way around so it evenly spaced those spikes and they were already there. So that, that came together real quick. That's probably four years old. This is also another piece that I do a kind of a small series of. This is a small sunflower. And uh, I've done, the, I also have wallflowers. And uh, it's just a common theme of these iron worker slugs and some old wheels that I slice and dice and make this little petals and give them some kind of a stem. So you can see these are well, probably over seven feet high, inch and a half solid round stems. This is a white enamel, a spoked wheel, sliced and diced. And these are ironwork slugs, iron worker slugs, left over from a project that I was doing here, making a gravel screen. And the backs are the end caps off of an air tank. And we heated and pierced and uh, got and flared out this little stem on the back, which I thought was kind of cool for making it look like the real thing. This is a 17 inch bow tie sphere, which is going to be placed in this on this stone. Nice piece of granite. It's been drilled all the way down through for wiring. Uh, this center pipe is just temporary. That was just a test fit for a way to adapt this to the stone and uh, we're going to be putting in a low voltage light to use this and probably with a mirror a convex mirror on the top that, that'll cast the light down so it's a good some ground lighting for your central area nice piece of antique granite again using the uh, iron worker slugs and pieces of round rod and setting this in my jig that I had for a nine inch sphere and this one these all penetrate and connect back and forth so even though they look like spikes they're actually not spikes the uh, these are pieces of half inch solid round rod and some look like one inch uh, slugs from a 3 8 plate just all welded together with a stem on it This is a piece called Long Cove Afterlife. Two pieces that came from Long Cove, Maine. This was a piece I was on a job trimming off some ironwork on a wharf. So this is from quite a few old days back. Rod iron, I suspect. Kind of looks like a little bottle opener, but I just thought it was a beautiful piece. And, and the place is an old quarry, and there's lots of pieces of granite around. And I looked for a piece to go with it, and, and this is it. This again was in the nine inch sphere jig and I call this the well-spoken sphere. Look at the little ladybug was just in there. But these are all spokes that I trimmed off an old mangled up Model A Ford rim. And they're all just arranged. That was all the spokes on the whole rim. So that's one, one well-spoken sphere. This is actually the pile pile, and these are sections of pile. You've all heard of a pile driver. Well, that's the pile driver. That This is the pile it drives. And these were the last ten sections of pile that went into a big job in Thomaston. And some of these are little pieces of work all by themselves. This piece in particular, if you're looking at this end right here, I have considered a cutting this off and mounting it and just titling this piece Fish Lips. And here's another one pretty similar to it. But as a, as a whole group, I thought Pile Pile worked pretty well. 
and they're both spelled P-I-L-A. You can kind of see right up through there that, that it's all uh, two discs and they're slotted to intersect. And then the uh, number nine wire wrapped around and around and around it like a ball of twine. And this piece is called the Quantum Sphere of Inner Balance. How's that? <laughs> this came from the Camden Tannery and when all the scrappers and the big boys come in with all their heavy equipment to do these jump demolition jobs. There's a big uh, piece of equipment they stick on the arm of an excavator and it reaches out and pinches these like a big set of lobster claws and just severs this tubing right off. So these two pieces were found next to each other. I just thought they kind of went well together and this is called severed relationship. Kind of very similar to Long Cove Afterlife. But this one is called Windsock. And this is uh, very marine related. This was a, the end of a stay to come from the ledge on the shore out to a float and hold it in position. And this is an example of how, the, how extreme the rust was. And this very fine, delicate section here actually started out just as thick as this piece over here. And you can see the cross section of this is like one by three. And uh, it rusted from that, which was inside the pipe and protected, down to this right here, which was sticking in the water for about 40 years. You can't throw that stuff out. What's the name of it? Windsock. And here's a fun piece. The name of this piece is Perpetual Aspiration. And you stay right there, I'll show you uh, how she works. And I guess that's because uh, I think that the piece is aspiring to be perpetual. This piece here is a uh, actual, there's no other way to term this other than found at. And this is how. This piece over here actually has a uh, bird-like quality to it. If you look at it just right, you'd swear you just came across some large bird, a water bird. It's got a, like a swan looking. But this is actually a, uh, this would be the round flange, which would be going around for a manhole cover to bolt to. So this typically would have been bent in a circle, and this would have been the cylinder, with this flange at a right angle to it all the way around with a round cover plate. But it got stretched and pulled right out by a piece of heavy equipment on a demolition job. And again, just can't throw that stuff out. And this is a stone that came right off the property here. And the perforations, just it's incredible how strong the perforations are when there's a nice background, either a like beautiful green lawn or the white snow or something, and to stand back and look through these little perforations, it's, it surprised me how prominent it makes that background and how much it adds to the piece. Uh, and this is just titled Stretched Manhole. <laughs> well, we're getting out to the back 40. The, the, the gallery actually heads down this way, the outdoor gallery. And uh, we'll see if we got time to get down there. But we're finishing up around here. You can see some uh, cleared off area in the, in the background there. 